so you guys this is from her video that she made it was a lot of blah 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 but i think this one was more like um damage control because of a post that somebody left on her channel of course it was deleted but let's see a little bit of what she has to say first i uh have a lot of food noise in my head it's just always food 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 you know what am i gonna eat next just always thinking about food obsessing about food so i i have talked about this you know ad nauseum on my channel and i probably will continue to talk about you know some of my struggles and stuff like that so um but so far i'm on a winning streak uh just doing well you know um i'm actually really happy with the little accomplishments I've been making so um, some of those accomplishments are uh, just I haven't uh, binged in a while now and well a while for me is like probably a few days like since Thailand anyway for some reason I have a hard time believing her because rule number one when it comes to our girls they lie yeah and I think what's going on right now is that she spent so much money on food in Thailand. Salah needs his payment and he's making her cook. So I think he's like, if you're going to binge, cook the food, okay? You cook the food and you can binge as much as you want because I'm going to need my payment, okay? I think that's what's going on here. Like I said... From our previous live stream, there was a lot of racism going on in there, and this is her attempt of deflecting and again damage control. Um, since being back home um, in Thailand, I ordered a lot, and I did have some. Um, there were some times where you know I would be alone and. Um, just watching a movie or whatever in the hotel and I would order out again on top of having had supper and stuff like that and then I would order snacks or go to the 7-eleven and have snacks and I realized you know left to my own devices <laughs> um, being private in private um, I, I was able to just do what I whatever I wanted to and um, was also able to uh, hide hide things um, from my husband you know who's concerned about my health and my eating disorder um, I am going to say I highly doubt that Salah saw everything that we saw when you were in Thailand you didn't hide crap from him he does not care the only thing he cares about is his money you are eating all of the profits he's concerned about his money to continue this jam he wants to make sure that you don't eat all of his money that's all he cares about and we all saw him making fun of you in the comments Chantal and you want us to believe this he was flirting with other people in your chat in front of you he was making fun of you in front of all of your visas we all saw it the man doesn't give a crap okay um i will also say that this is this is new for him he's a he's a you know a a, a person uh, who doesn't have issues with food at all um they eat to live and they don't think about food after you know they're they've eaten they're good they don't think about their next meal after that um so and you know i've i've been surrounded by normies <laughs> my whole life so um you know and when it comes to food that's what i mean by normie and so this is like a whole new thing for him you know i did mention when we met because i feel it's important to be with, transparent with somebody especially if you're planning on marrying them um and, and spending ma'am he were not transparent with him you fat fished him and he did not care because you probably led with i made twenty thousand dollars a month and he fell in land sink hooker whatever determines he 
was with you because you told him you made $20,000 a month and you were an easy mark and you were desperate and you fed fished him. He did not care because he was supposed to be making $20,000 a month. That was, he was sold by that. He does not care. Okay. He does not care. And after this clip plays, I'm going to show you what I mean that she's doing damage control. In your life with them as a life partner, uh, you know, husband and wife, that's you're a unit, you're a family unit, you're a couple, you go through life together, the ups and downs. And I felt it was important for him to really know what my downs were. So I did, ex you know, talk a bit about how I have issues with food and, um, I, you know, I don't think at the time he really, really understood the full extent of it until he lived with me uh, and he would, you know, see little signs of, you know, like um, when he would be in sleeping and then the next day there would just be like, you know, some evidence of binges happening. Um, and I just... Uh, you know, we're going through it and um, he's actually really supportive uh, in a lot of ways. So one of our fallen beezers left this comment on her live stream that she did. And if you want to pause it and read it, I know it's a lot, but I know some people are not on Twitter. So not a lot of people saw this. So if you want to stop it and read it. And then there's a second part that I want to stress out as we continue. So if we focus on the second paragraph of this, this lady um, thought she was supporting her fellow Muslim sister. But during that racist stream, her previous one, she was really disgusted with Chantal. And she says her fiance in Kuwait knows your husband, husband's crew. And I promise you, I promise you, you are the bad of the jokes. We all have heard about your insane food meltdowns. At this point, I bet you have to be desperate that you know, but don't care. Keep staying. She says, keep staying on life for hours like Salah told you. Funny Salah makes you wear hijab and one kiss your cheek, hold your hand, Muslim yet having a whole affair while you were gone. Totally fine, but hey, you can say you are his wife, right? So this lady pretty much knows the gig or her fiance knows the gig. And I think this is why Chantel, I think this is why she's doing this stupid video. It's damage control, trying to deflect from the situation. So apparently, I will not be shocked that there's a lot of people in that chat that are from Kuwait who are there for the mm -hmm. spectacle of everything. This is why I think she made the video. Honestly. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the co uh, comment section, if I'm off or not. But I think that's the case. And anyways, thank you for tuning in. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Later, later.